Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching, we're in Dynamics and today we're going to solve problem 12, 16, okay? It says, a particle is moving along a straight line with an initial velocity of 6 meters per second. When it is subjected to a deceleration of an acceleration of negative 1.5 v raised to the 1 half meters per second squared, where v is in meters per second, determine how far it travels before it stops. How much time does this take? Okay, so the first thing that we need to know in order to solve this problem is that we're going to use one of our equations, our three equations that was given in the book, and it is that acceleration multiplied by our change in position has to be equal to our velocity times uh, our change in position. Okay, so from this equation, what we can say is that our change in position has to be equal to our velocity multiplied by our change in velocity divided all by acceleration. When we have this, so what we can say, okay, is that we're going to put everything on our right side, so in this side of the equation, in terms of velocity. And we can do that because we know what's our acceleration in terms of our velocity, which is given in the problem statement, okay? So, if we do that, we're going to do v dv all divided by, and we're going to replace that acceleration for negative 1.5 v raised to the 1 half, okay? So, now that we have this, what we can do is that we can cancel some of this v raised to the 1 half with this v raised to the 1 to the first power on top, and we will end up having v to the 1 half on top, multiplied by dv, all divided by negative 1.5, okay? So now that we have this, what we can say is that we can apply an integral on the left side from zero to our position of our change in position, and this has to be equal to the integral from our initial velocity, which is given in our problem statement, so in here, initial velocity of six meters, so our initial velocity, 6 until our final velocity of so we're going to keep our constant which is negative 1.5 separated of our v raised to the 1 half dv okay so what we have is that our position when we do the integral on our left side is going to be equal to and is going to be equal to 1 rate uh, divided by 1.5 multiplied by and then the integral of v raised to the 1 half dv is equal to v raised to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves okay and a better way of writing these 3 halves in our in that is in a denominator is to write it as 2 divided by 3. So we got 2 times b raised to the 3 halves all divided by 3. And we're going to evaluate this from 6 all the way to our fi uh, final velocity. So if we do that, let's evaluate it. So we got 1 divided by 1.5 negative multiply by okay so first we're going to replace our v for another v so it's just going to stay the same so it's going to be two thirds of the v raised to the uh, three halves then we're going to have minus and we're going to replace our v for our value of six so we got two thirds of six raised to the three halves okay now, when we do this, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to foil this constant multiplied with our two-thirds on both sides. And what we have what will end up is, if we multiply that, the first one is going to end up with negative 0.4444 V raised to the three-halves. And then we're also going to multiply our negative number for our negative in here. We'll end up with a positive 
and then when we, when we multiply it by this entire number we will end up having positive 6.532 okay and this is our equation of our position in terms of velocity so we're gonna go back to our question and it's asking us how far so the position before it stops and the key part of here is that word stops it stops means when our velocity is equal to zero so if our velocity is equal to zero what we can say is that our position when velocity is equal to zero is going to be equal to 6.532 and this is meters and the reason for this is this velocity is equal to zero therefore this entire term is equal to zero okay now we can we just found out that this is our first answer for this question and the second question is how much time does this take so what we can do in order to find out the time is that we know that the acceleration is equal to the change in velocity with respect to time and from here we can say that the change in time is equal to our change in velocity divided by our acceleration right so we're going to do an integral on both sides again so we're going to do an integral from our time equal to zero all the way to our final time of our change in time and this is going to be equal to the integral from our velocity so since we're doing dv again so from 6 all the way to our final velocity of dv divided by negative 1.5 v raised to the one half and we know this because this is given in our problem statement okay now that we have this, we can, uh, I like to write this integral from 6 to v, better written off 1 over negative 1.5 of v raised to the negative 1 half dv. I just, I like to see it this way, so I know how to do my integral. Now, on our left side, we will just have t equal to, and then uh, the integral of our right side is going to be negative 1.5 multiplied by so we're gonna have v when we do the integral this will be end up with positive one half all divided by one half okay now a better way of writing this one having here again is just flipping up the numbers and if we flip those numbers we just end up with two over one so let's just write it as two and we're evaluating this from six all the way to v if we do this, let's evaluate these boundaries, we'll end up with, well, where we first we're replacing our V with our V, so V, but it just doesn't change anything. And then we're gonna have minus, and we're going to have two multiplied by six raised to the one half, okay? So since we have this, what we can do is that again I'm going to multiply our constant to both of our expressions in here so we'll have that the time is equal to and we'll end up having negative 1.333 v raised to the one half plus 3.266 okay now again the question asks when the particles stop, meaning that we know that our final v is equal to zero, okay? So our time should be equal, okay? So if we put this as equal to zero, this entire term will go to zero, and the time will be 3.27, accounting for some significant figures, seconds, okay? And this should be our second answer okay if you guys like the video please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one